Okay, welcome back. We're doing some more governmental accounting. We're going to move on to problem 2-3, uh, governmental funds. And we are on page 65 of the governmental and nonprofit accounting theory and practice book. And we're doing P23, or P2-3. Uh, analyze each of the following transactions, events, indicate all the transactions all the effects each transaction have on the funds and non-fund accounts of local government. Be sure to include the fund affected. Include analysis any year-end adjustments that are required. Assume December 31st is the end of the fiscal year. Indicate how each of the transaction events or related adjustments should be reported in the operating statements of each fund affected by the transaction. So our first one is the government issued $4 million of 6% 10-year bonds at 100, so the par, on Jan July 15th 2003 or 13 however you want to do that interest is payable semi-annually on January 15th and July 15th of each year the bonds were issued to finance construction of a major addition of the government's primary office building so what's going to get affected well obviously our capital projects fund is going to have increased assets of four million dollars And then our uh, our uh, fund balance increases four million. Also, in our general capital and long-term liabilities uh, fund, we are obviously don't have any capital assets yet, but we do have our general long-term liability. So we're going to have a general long-term liability of four million dollars and our net assets will be decreased by four million dollars reflecting that debt okay so that's all we need to do for the first one on as far as where they're going it is going to be considered a capital on our capital project fund it's a source of uh, money bonds for four million dollars is where that would be reported so we're going to have source of funds, $4 million. Uh, item number two. The government was billed $2,800,000 during the year by the, the courthouse addition contractor for work performed at the courthouse during the year. The government made, paid $2,200,000 to the contractor. Well, again, we're going to hit our capital projects fund. And this time we're reducing our adject, assets of $2,200,000. Our related liabilities will actually decrease by six million dollars so I'm going to show that as a debit in uh, the liabilities fund as we would debit a credit you know the normal credit balance and related liabilities fund and our fund balance okay has decreased by two million oops by two million eight hundred thousand in that fund we paid the two million 200,000 and so that reduced that plus we reduced our liabilities has a net effect of 2,800,000 $2, if we look at number what's going to happen in our general uh, on our reporting our capital projects fund we're going to have expenditures of 2,800,000 dollars okay so that's principal payments going out the door payments going out the door for that two million eight hundred thousand dollars we had two million eight hundred thousand of expenditures we had two million two hundred thousand of of cash actually paid we had liabilities increased by six hundred thousand dollars because we didn't pay that amount okay everybody with me good all right, so again, expenditures versus what we've paid in cash. Uh, number three, on July 29th, the government paid $120,000 from the general fund to f to f the fund from which the government uh, courthouse bonds, principals, and interests are to be repaid. So this is going to hit two different things. We're going to hit the general fund, obviously. We're going to subtract cash for $120,000 which will of course reduce our fund balance by $120,000. Okay. 
in the debt service fund where we're going to be paying this out, we're going to have an increase of $120,000 in cash. Increase our fund balance for $120,000. Okay, and then we are also going to have, so how's that affect us? Our general fund, other financing sources, we've got a transfer from the fund going out of $120,000 and into, this is actually from other funds, I'm sorry, I typed that wrong, this should be two other funds for the general fund, and our debt service fund had $120,000 of money transferred in from the general fund. Okay? And they weren't actually paid, so we haven't recorded that part of the transaction. Okay, number four. The government repaid a five-year $300,000 note payable and in interest on August 15th, 2003. The note was repaid directly from the general fund. The payment included $15,000 of interest. So, how do we handle that? Well, we're going to have cash, obviously. We're gonna, since we're talking about the general fund, the general fund cash is going to decrease by three hundred fifteen thousand. Our fund balance is going to decrease by three hundred fifteen thousand. Okay, and we have um, our general long-term debt is going to decrease by three hundred thousand, and our net assets increase by three hundred thousand. So we're getting rid of that. Debt. Okay, oh, you notice one before here. I forgot to increase our assets by two million eight hundred thousand, and so there we go. That was from the prior problem. Uh, general capital assets. Okay, so three million because when we paid that bill. Step, sorry, stepping back, because uh, we re record that as an asset now, that 2800000 So this is in our asset fund. And then same thing here, we reduced our liability, okay, which is going to increase our net assets by 300000 So finally, let's look at number five. The government issued $14 million of 6% 10-year bonds at 100 or par. On September 30th, 2013, interest is payable semi-annually on March 31st and September 31st of each or September 30th of each year. The bonds were issued to finance construction, a major addition to the government's water plant. The sewer and water department is one of the government's business type operations and not a governmental operation fund. So this is going to be a little different. We're not going to hit our governmental funds. We're going down to what we call our proprietary funds. Proprietary funds were operating like a business. Okay, so we're going to have our fund here this is our enterprise fund. We're going to increase current assets by 14 million, showing the proceeds of the bonds. Our long-term liabilities obviously are going to increase by 14 million. Okay. The second part of that is we need to record our interest payments or interest obligation of which our first payment will be uh, 14 million times six percent for three months since we issued them in Jan or July on September 30th okay we need to recruit three months of interest for the year end because we were recruiting their entries to the year end. So we need to record three months of interest. Our interest debt, which will be a current liability, is 210000 And our net assets at that point would decrease by 210000 because we are going to, we'll have our, uh, we will have uh, to pay that and our non-operating expense, in interest expense of 210000 will be on our uh, enterprise fund statement. Uh, it's revenues, expenses, and changes in net assets. Again, that's a little different than what the basic governmental funds are. Governmental funds report their changes, a statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance. Okay, 
Under proprietary funds, we report it as statements of revenues, expenses, and changes in net assets. So it goes more like a kind of like a nonprofit accounting that we talked about last week. Fairly, fairly similar to how we handle our proprietary funds. So it'll be net assets instead of a fund balance deal. And that are some select transactions on uh, some financing of obligations and how it hits some other funds.